So she, Ruth, lay at his, Boaz's feet until the morning. Then she rose up, she got up before anybody was able to recognize the other, to know the other. He thought, let it not be known that the woman had come to the threshing floor. And therefore he said, bring the cloth you are wearing and hold it out. She held it and he measured out six measures barley and put it on her. And then he went into the town and Ruth came to her mother-in-law and she, the mother-in-law, asked, Who are you, my daughter? Now, this question is not clear at all. If she says, my daughter, why does she ask, who are you? And if she asks, who are you, how can she say that it's my daughter? If in Scripture, such a, I say now, stupid question jumps up. We have to ask, what's going on? We have to notice it. We have to hold on to it and we have to discuss it. We have to talk about it. We have to ponder it. There is a parallel to verse 9 where Boaz asks the woman or whoever is there at his feet at night, there was no light, and he asked, who are you? But he doesn't say, my daughter. He doesn't know that it is a woman. He just asked, who are you? What are you doing here? And Boaz really did not know who was lying at his feet. So maybe here in the case with Naomi and Ruth, um, we should reformulate the question and maybe say, is it you, my daughter? I mean, she was expecting Ruth to come back at some time. That would be one possibility. Or maybe we should reformulate the question uh, as, who are you here now? What is your status? What did you accomplish? How do things stand with you? What condition are you in? What is your fate? Was there any decision? You can go through scripture where are similar questions. And for example, in Genesis 27, we have the blind Isaac asking, who are you, my son? But the difference is that Jacob coming in said, talked about my father and addressed him. So he heard also the voice. It's a different situation. It is a unique situation that here we have Naomi asking somebody who came in, who are you, my daughter? Now, sometimes Jesus, Yeshua, is coming into our lives and he might ask us, who are you? addressing our identity, addressing, he wants us to realize something by answering his question, because it's clear that Yeshua knows who we are. The question in this story that is about identity, that is about names, is very interesting that Ruth's answer is not, I am Ruth, your daughter or your daughter-in-law, but Ruth actually answers Naomi's question with a story. 
And it says here, then Ruth told Naomi everything that Haish, that the man had done to her. You know now, I told that several times, that whenever the man is appearing, my rabbi once told me, pay attention, because if, if it talks about the man, it's talking about the living God encountering men in human form. So it must come out. It must be an issue of discussion also for us, thinking about this text that Ruth is answering this seemingly stupid question with a story talking about the man who changed her whole life.